everybody, I'm Dustin and welcome back to Foothills Adventures. We have a very special gun to show you today. Um, we do not do unboxings, but when I heard this was coming in and Dad brought it down, I really didn't have a choice. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get this started. What we have here is a Voodoo Gunworks Apparition chambered in 22 long rifle. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so let me look at the other stuff that came with it and uh, then we'll discuss the, uh, the rifle. So it actually ships in this padded uh, Plano case. Very good quality case. Uh, it seems to do good. The only thing is, I think when Dad ordered this rifle, he ordered the larger knob. So it kind of does get stuck in here, but it is it still works. Uh, let's see what we got in our first package here. All right. That is a very nice magazine. Very nice. It has the uh, Voodoo Gunworks um, Voodoo Gunworks label on it. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, accented in red lets you know you're out of bullets, which you should know already. And our second package, and that's metal by the way. It's it's really heavy. Come on. Now this is a larger mag. This is not quite, this isn't quite as hefty. So this is a five round mag and this is a uh, 10 round mag. There is a substantial weight difference between the two. You guys might not be able to see it, but this is more of a, uh, a polymer, whereas this is just straight fat metal like the rest of the gun. It also comes with a nice Voodoo Gunwork sticker, which I'm sure Dad's going to put on something. And what appears to be some barrel nuts and a screw. I have no idea what that goes to. Uh, maybe we'll find out later. Alright, so while we're sitting here, I'm going to move the mags out of the way and get you set up to where you can properly see this gun. Oh, sorry, don't worry about the, uh, the big book bag. That's my son's. Alright. Hopefully you guys can see this. There we go. Alright, so this is Voodoo Gunworks Apparition chambered in 22 long rifle. Um, this is the BA competition chassis. It is machined from 6061 aluminum. And this one is, this frame is care coated in what they call burnt bronze. I don't know if you can see just how pretty this thing is uh, up close, but it is, it is very pretty. This, this, this has the V22 360 rimfire repeater action. Okay, so this bolt is very unique. This this whole system is very unique. Um, up, back, just like you normally would. The the difference between this and normal 22 repeating rifles. Um, so this bolt, when you draw it from the mag, when you draw the the round from the mag, the round never touches anything that can damage the lead so most most rifles have a feed ramp just about all of them do where you go to slam the bolt forward it runs up the ramp and into the chamber this particular one on the inside of the actual on the inside of the bolt it grabs a hold of it and slides it in nice and easy doesn't damage the lead um, which I guess if you're shooting out six seven hundred yards with a 22 caliber bullet you want your you know lead to be intact and undamaged um, the trigger 
this is a Timney 510 V2 um, from the factory. It is set at two pounds. Let's see if you can hear it. Very distinct click. Honestly, to me, it felt like a little less than two pounds, but it's still a very nice trigger pull, and I, I think we'll enjoy that. Um, this barrel, this has the, this barrel, this is a 20 inch MTU contour barrel. The end of this barrel is threaded, so right now we have a thread protector in it. So later on down the line, if you want to spend $200 on your tax stamp and however much more, you get a suppressor for this, um, which would be very nice, but it's a very nice thick barrel. I, this is a very, very heavy rifle. Um, I think it says like 12 pounds, but it feels a lot more than 12 pounds. Like it, it's almost like it's pushing 15 is kind of what it feels like. Um, but that's very good, long range. You can, once you put this thing on the bag, it's not going to move. When you pull that trigger, it's, yeah, it's too heavy. It's not going to move at all. Very nice. Uh, up front, you have a Picatinny rail up front that you can put whatever you want to on there. Um, I have seen people use use that to mount, um, mount guides. They've mounted flashlights for whatever reason. I don't know why you would. Um, you also have up here... You have a night sight mount for the night vision bridge, I guess if you want to run that. Uh, other Picatinny rail here for optics, which of course you're going to have to have a very large scope to get out six, seven hundred yards. On the back, and you might be able to see it, but there's actually a little level indicator here, which I thought was really neat. Um, going further back here, you have the adjustable cheek rest which has an audible click, which is kind of nice and clunky. Same thing with the adjustable buttstock. So it kind of clicks. I guess if you don't want to pull yourself off of the rifle and you need to adjust it, it's right there. The grip is very nice. Um, I, I thought it was a little weird. It's almost triangular, but it, it forms nicely in the hand. Um, and the, the grip here is machined on the back side um, and what I, from what I've been told when you actually put this down and you're going to fire it your thumb just sits over here it doesn't go to the other side and honestly there's there's a spot for it on the other side but holding this rifle here it actually feels kind of comfortable sitting there so I'll we'll have to try that um, on the bottom you have places to mount things down here as well. Overall, I, I don't know. I've, I've never shot one. I know it's an expensive rifle, um, but we're going to be starting uh, PRS or the NRL 22 matches, uh, me and Dad, sometime this year. And I'll, I, I was just going to get like a Ruger 1022, you know, a little cheap 22 just to. Uh, but apparently we're using this now, so um, I'm very excited to be using this. Um, we have a very, very nice scope, uh, Dad told me, that we're going to be putting on here. Um, so further videos to come, we're going to get it sighted in. I think the longest we have around here is a little over 220, 230 yards. Um, so we're really not going to be pushing its limits at all. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the unboxing video. And... If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe, share to your friends, let them know. We're a growing channel. We'd like to bring you other stuff other than just guns. Um, if you have anything in mind that you want to see, let us know, and we can go from there.